Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Lift off. We have a lift off. Get the launch pad, make we launch out. I gotta tell you my friend, but I can't tell it out here. So you don't know. When we forward, I gotta tell you the story the one epic, you don't know. This is boxing. And you know every time we just slap with a little bum pull up yourself with a pint tart with his shoes, whatever. Brother call me. One time you don't know. As you said, street vending, and you don't know me going in. Good, nice. And this is where I come in to buy my pastry and my bum. So, you want to make me a bum? I don't know, because this is what we buy in the bum. Capadula, everything. Yeah, watch it. So it's dark. Capadula, sarsaparilla, granny backbone, everything inside of this bum, you know what I mean? So, when you come to box stand, you have to come to go to the farm stand. Best bum on the PhD, but right now we're walking fish. Just drinking something, you know. Yeah. Hey guys, you don't know. This is where I go see. The judge over there said. Oh yeah, turn it camera. This is the big baby she said. Turn it camera. Oh my God. Never mind. Never mind. She's catching thousands. You don't know. So I want to pick up a few things. I'm just coming by Jaji, you don't know. So Jaji, one love. Yeah, I see my own money base, like he himself. One and only. That's why he's also doing Link Taxi Service, you don't know how to tell me they're funny, right? See, man, this is just somebody by the crew, big, you don't know, but everybody they're funny on right now, you know what I mean? Looking for the people. So one car, tell all them nice is making one. Well. That's something for the fans. I'm glad you bring them a scene here from this show where you start from. And this is what you know. Everything begins. You understand? Because this is all in the world. And we bust you. The man said they gave me a new name by Culture King Boss. Yeah, yeah, that's the name, Culture King. I go in with Mark Boss. <laughs> them can't give me nothing. God don't ordain Mark Boss. This is my cousin. Yes. You see my cousin smile? <laughs> Before you. <laughs> ah, yes, brother. Mark Batson, a proud Bostonian and a proud Guyanese at that. One people, one nation, one destiny. I always rep my 592 flag high in the sky. Um, I, was, I just want to share a little bit about myself. You know, I am a musician, artist, a reggae artist at that. Um, years ago, I used to do like soca music, reggae, um, calypso music, and you know. Different genre of music, but I find myself more comfortable now with the reggae genre of music. I choose it because I know I can spread positive messages within it. I want to enlighten the world with my messages. I want my songs to be inspirational. So every time you take an ear to Mark Batson music, you know that yes, this is Mark Batson. He's always positive, a positive mind. You know, like for your love, I'm begging for a second chance. You know, the ladies always love that song for some reason. You know, I guess they like when men beggar them. Um, other than that, like I said, Buxton, very nice village. The people there are welcoming. Um, we have so many acres of land. At the moment, I'm thinking about buying some land at the back to start a little plantation. You know, I want to do some cropping, crops and livestock, yeah, so to speak. So, 
I'm looking at different avenues to spread my wings, but like I said, I wouldn't trade music for the world. Uh, I, I really love my family. I'm a family-oriented person, father of four, you know, living with my kids and my fiance. I have a nice, happy life, and I thank the Most High for giving me that life. So every day before I leave my home, I will dedicate myself. I pray. In the morning, I rise, I do my devotion turn. I do my devotion and, you know, spend much time with my family. I like to know that my children are well equipped and we live much humble and very calm, peaceful and quiet, you know. So that's Mark Bison, little, little detail. This man like he lock out, me you know like he lock out cow. You know why he locking out. Hey, Bajay! My music journey started many years ago. As a little boy, you know, we sing in the church choir. My mother, she was the trainer for always the choir in church. Um, I entered the junior calypso, school calypso, soca monarch. You know, I was one time the monarch of Guyana in the junior calypso. So what I did, I I leave that I leave all of that behind. Now I started to sing reggae music. How do I come about reggae music? Started to singing reggae music after leaving soca, reggae. You try even a little bit of dance. As you grow old, I always say you get a different change of heart, a change of mind, and you know, I stand where my heart is. Um, doing reggae music for me, I feel more positive about express expressing myself and exploring the culture, reggae culture. Um, I like roots i like to go way back deep down into my ancestor you know i'm i'm very rootsy kind of person when i started my first reggae album which is entitled music without borders i called my friend vijay at paradigm studio i said to him i said man you know i'm here and i'm just at home not doing anything studying what to do and i want to do some music first of all we didn't have a name we didn't know how many songs we were gonna do. We just started off recording music. Nevertheless, Music Without Borders came into play with the collaboration of Vision Songs and Paradigm Studio. Um, there's a lot of work being done on the album from Paradigm and Vision Song. There's a lot of work in terms of the collaboration, the collective effort, whereby we had to actually like listen to the album on many occasions i remember the the album was rejected like two to three times because we weren't getting exactly what we were looking for but the most important important part of the album we wanted the album to be a guyanese album so we wanted a guyanese song in terms of the reggae music we wanted to give the reggae music a guyanese song so we, we, we didn't want it to be more or Jamaican or, you know, too out of Guyana. We wanted to have this song coming from Guyana. Um, one of the most successful songs on the album so far is Second Chance. Second Chance really relates to a lifelong history. Some people ask me, is you talking about? I'm talking about everybody if you really want to know. Um, ladies, I know that the women always love when men would cry out to them in terms of begging them but the song is much deeper than that a second chance we all need a second chance maybe relationship maybe we mess up at work maybe something happened that we didn't catch it at a set time so we asking for a second chance that's why we pray because every time we do things that is not pleasing to God we ask for forgiveness and that's the second chance so music without borders like I said is my first reggae album um, it's on all the social media platform 
Juno download, Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, Google Play. We even have the art copies of the album in Vision Songs in Georgetown here, Guyana. Right, 34 Nairo Street, Queenstown, Georgetown. So that's for the people in Guyana who, who wants a hard copy and maybe don't have the time to visit the internet, you know? Um, like I said, for me, I love music. I've been doing music since I was a child. I tried different, different working relationship. Um, a little engineering, a little plumbing, a little different things. But you know, I find myself right here with music. So I would tell the world I would never trade music because music is me and that's who I am, All right? My mother, she's my inspiration. I always see it. She is my inspiration. Uh, I remember years ago, me and my little sister, she used to get us singing in different octaves and shaping our mouth and diction, articulation, enunciation of words and all of these different things. So I am grateful for being here. Professionally, my career is into five years now. Um, it has been rising bit by bit, step by step. Um, I'm grateful for the tours. I'm grateful for whatever God has been giving to me in the business. Um, I did some tour to Jamaica. I was there for the Dennis Emmanuel Brown Body Tribute, where I did um, a tribute to Dennis Brown. And I sang one of my songs. Second chance as a verse, a chorus. It was well received in Jamaica. Uh, I went down to Trinidad for Carry Festa representing Guyana. Myself on 99, strong contingent from Guyana. That was also well received. Um, we are looking to impact into the European market, starting with England. I was invited there also for a show, but nevertheless, the time ran out on us, so we didn't get. The full package of what we wanted to get out there but we got blessings we'll get there early next year so we're looking to spread our wings beyond guyana in terms of the reggae music jamaica europe you know as it as it sets itself and um i want to tell the world that my music i don't do my music in terms of just sing a song it's very inspirational when I sing music. I do everything for my life story. In, in my first album, every song can tell something about my life. Um, for exception of one song that I sang about the jail in Guyana, when we had the, uh, prison, the prison break, yeah. I sang a song about that because I was really touched by the way in which the jail went up in flames. I had a friend that was in the jail and got burnt up and died and you know so that song was more to send out condolences to the deceased right like I said I have a team the team worked tirelessly around the club I have Vijay at Paradigm Studio I have Father Wally at Vision Songs you know I have my road managers I have the Eat Wave band I have the radio DJs and the selectors and everybody the streets the fans in Guyana, Caribbean and around the world, you know, and I'm grateful for some of the response that I've been getting from the international market. Um, it tells me that I need to work harder, keep working, consistency and bring good branding product to the business. At this current time, I'm looking at a new album, start working on the album. Don't have a name as yet, but I want this album to be a little different. So. You know, different producers want to be on this one. Vijay, including um, a friend of mine, his name is Delon Gilbert. We call him Keezy, he's a track builder. You know, same way we going down again. Um, Vision Songs, recording studio, in collaboration with Paradigm recording studio. So, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. We want to take our time so that when next year come and we are about to release, you can say, yes, we are satisfied and whatever we're giving out to the audience, to the public, they can say yes, you're satisfied. So we're researching, thinking about different idea, different style in terms, you know, getting it on a little momentum so that people can still be edgy. Um, a video is to be released very soon for Give Me Some Space, that is from the first album. We still are promoting the album in terms of songs on the album. We're doing them single, even though the album has been released. 
and like I said the album check it out it's phenomenal it's awesome it's an album that you can't say well okay I don't like no song on this album from the time I talk to people and they say about this album they tell me by all them songs nice but I like this one I like number two I like number three so everybody have their own songs on the album the album is entitled music without borders has 10 tracks and everybody has their own song that they liked but I think overall the females especially gravitate to second chance even some men because some men would have called me from Trinidad and different parts of the Caribbean and say yo girlfriend let me break up send me the song la, la, la play to she and I know I'm gonna get you back right but like I said I do it from my heart with blessings and I always put God first in whatever I'm doing. Um, my kids, I always incorporate them in my vision because I'm a family man of four. Love them a lot. I'm nurturing them the same way to come with good positive vibe. Um, I see my eldest daughter, she's coming up in the music. So I'm grooming her also. I'm grooming other artists in terms of different genre. Um, last year, which is uh, 2018, Yes, my artist won the Junior Calypso Monarch for Guyana. So, you know, I'm, I'm working, I'm trying to help where I can help in terms of helping other young artists and molding them and bringing them up in the right way, showing them the discipline, showing them the pros and the cons, the ins and the outs, because we all know that music business is not a walk over there, no short cutting music business. It's a hundred and hundred only. Yo, you know drama G, but you don't know. As a musician, you have to touch all the instruments. Even if you can't play everything, touch the bass, you touch the drum, you touch the piano, the keyboard, you know, everything you just touch. But at the end of the day, we singers. Yeah. What am I gonna say? Buxton, my place, place I born, place I grew up. Them say we's bad people, but you know, bad people, man. Buxton people, just people who believe in them, self. And if you don't make trouble with them, you don't make no trouble with you. We is a people, ancestral people where we defend ourselves. You understand? From any outside enemies or anything that come to distract us. Some people say um Buxton is a slave place, a plantation place, you know? From way back them time. When them bring the slaves and bring them to Buxton and Buxton people are rebellious, but we don't fight people, we don't rap people and, 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 and all of these things. We just defend Buxton, you know, we defend we as a people. But we're very nice, very hospitable, and we always strive for the best. I can tell you in, in, in Buxton, we have the most educators in the country, Guyana. Yeah, we have some big ones like UC Quino, uh, Sir Ectoli, we have doctors. Like Dr. Carter, Dr. Anisha Moore. You know, we have some good educated people, some education officer, Shemlin Batson, Andrews. You know, we have educators that always teach and give back to the community, you know. So it's not always about defending only, but we spread the love, we spread the joy. And the, the real old school box, don't you know that? Um, the will not coward in the dust. For Buxton, my own native land, you know? That's what we call the, the, the Buxton battle song. Like when emancipation comes, people look forward to coming out to Buxton because, you know, it's African, it's roots. And people want that kind of vibe, that kind of entity, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's Buxton, always the place I would love, always the place I will always have my spirit there. Even when I travel around the world, they will be my people. And Guyana is my home always, so. I give Guyana 100% credit for having a son on the soil, Mark Batson, you know. And that's just it for me as a Buxtonian. Um, way back in time we had some struggles, whereby bad boys and police used to like war. But like I said, that is because of reasons. Because I know that nobody gonna pick up a gun to shoot nobody like that. Right? So we had a, a long tour mile I wanna call it where people couldn't walk and people couldn't say as they like and do as you like because bad by hunting police and police hunting bad boys but 
it come, it done, like any other place, have good and we have bad. Some say good and evil, right? It come and it done and we reunite Buxton. The place is calm again, the peace is there, and we all in the peace until death do us part, you know what I mean? But remember, as I said, Buxton, we love with people, we defend with people all the time in a good positive way. So to all Buxtonians, wherever we are checking in, Mark Watson saying, happy Buxtonian day to all Buxtonians. Yeah, man. Anyhow, my childhood days as a little boy was tough. Rough, I should say, because um, I never had a father. But I had a, I had a lot of parental figures in the background like aunts, uncles, and then my, my mother would have gotten married for a second time. So I had a stepfather, foster father, in Guyana we say stepfather, but my foster father. And he showed us love. There was four of us, he showed us love. And we come up through the lines, I do almost every little thing in a positive way to make life, you know. I sell icicle, yeah, sell guinea, and, and we peel enough planting, you know, and we have a chip like 80,000 pounds of planting. I, I was how much years, I maybe was nine years, you know, peeling the planting and shipping it, and then you have to put it out on the zinc and sun it out. I remember one time we had to pass the zinc from the bottom to the top after we put the planting in the bag, and the, the, the zinc fell back from the, from the top of the veranda and chopped me and my uncle, you know, but them was the days and you had to struggle to make it. And now I can see those little things have taught me a lifelong lesson whereby I can say, okay, I know what I want now. I know right from wrong and I know how now to steer myself in a more positive way. And this has given me a good teaching because remember, like I said, when we smile and you try anything wrong, and guy under them, whip you, give you some good lashes, you would root up your face and your vex, but those were the good days when children were being disciplined by parents and the whole community, because we all know that it takes the whole community to actually raise a child. And growing up without a father, I used to like call anybody my father, right? I used to say, this man is my father, sometimes my mother would bring her friends over and you know, I said that is my father and that was kind of tough for me because I never really had that father figure inside to say, okay, this is how a boy is supposed to move and you know, this is how a man does be. But nevertheless, I come through the struggles and I've done it all. I've hustled 95, round the clock, street life, I've known it all. So I give thanks and praise for the discipline that my mother, my grandparents, my uncle, my aunt and the community showed to me to make me a better man, you know, and today I'm a proud artist, a proud musician, a proud Guyanese, standing tall. One of the things I want to say to Guyanese people is to help us to spread Guyanese culture and Guyanese music around the world so that the world can see what we as Guyanese has to offer, okay? We have many talent here in Guyana, so we want this talent to showcase. A lot of times, you know, there's a lot of artists coming to Guyana and you don't see a lot of Guyanese artists on the stage and it's struggle us, it puzzles us as, as artists, as a people to wonder to know why, what's happening with our culture, why is our people not giving back to our people a hundred percent, right? So this is just a little message so that the outer world and who are listening can know that Guyana full of talent, lots of young talent coming in music, in arts and craft in everything. So we just need a talent to showcase whereby people can know that, okay, this is Guyanese and this is what we are from. You understand? So Guyanese people, wherever you are, the Caribbean and around the world, like I said from the bottom of my heart, blessed love to you every time. This is Mark Basson checking out on behalf of Vision Songs, Paradigm Studios. I love you all. God bless you. My you still doing something? No, I didn't know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. This is Mark Watson representing the launch pad by Emmy. Every time you see it, you don't know it's crystal clear. 
for your love. I'm begging for a second chance. Oh, baby. Bless it, love, every time. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Get the launch out.